cranky. Hey, 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 it's garage day. We're gonna poke around with the truck today. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a 78 Chevy Love, bagged, body drop, tri-power, Chevy 350, built this whole custom engine bay around it, sprayed it with a color matched Raptor bed liner, suicide doors, love suicide doors. Last time we worked on this truck, we did the sliding rag top. I love those things too. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check that out. Crafted a 56 Mercury dash in it. That flows into a, a console that goes all the way back. We did a bunch of sound deadening in there. We shaved one door handle. We gotta do the other one yet. Been working on shaving some lights. Got rid of the factory tail lights and put in these cat eye LED lights. Third brake light under the rear window. We changed the top of the doors to match up with the dash better. Well, not doors, just one so far. We'll be doing the other one. We totally changed up this front bumper, put in this bill of grill from a Tacoma. These lights are actually from the fender on a C10. Got a little surface rust on some things from our move down here, but we're dealing with that. Did all the sheet metal work in the bed. Cool little motorcycle gas cap. Shaved the fuel filler door. Slightly modified Scott's Hot Rods front suspension. We've been all over this truck, but there ain't a whole lot that's actually finished. So there won't be a shortage of mini truck content here. Model A too. Really looking forward to getting started on that as well. The seats I'm using are buckets from a 67 Mustang. You can see they need some work. We did the brackets, the seat mounts on one of them. So we got to do that on the other one because I met a guy with an upholstery shop that's actually right around the corner from my work. So the plan is to make that other bracket and get these seats to him so we can look at getting them upholstered and ordering extra material so we could do the rest of the interior here. So I'll do full custom interiors until it comes to sewing. I can't sew yet. Everything I know how to do, I either figured it out on my own or I went and got a job doing it. That right there, guys, is a great life hack. Find yourself a way to get paid to learn. Someday maybe I'll come across an industrial sewing machine that we could use. We can learn out here together. But for now, we just gotta take these somewhere else. So I guess what we need to do is look at this one that we already did and duplicate it on the other side, just flip-flopped around. You should have seen these seats before. They were covered in some fake long-haired mink pimp covers. <laughs> I got these seats out of a salvage yard and this car was just rotten to the ground, but you could tell it was some sort of pimped out 70s machine. All right, so I found some metal here. Some two inch square stock, three quarter inch angle. And I'm gonna copy what we have here. I'm not gonna drill the holes though because we haven't even started the interior in this thing yet. And I wanna make sure that I have as much room as I possibly can for the seats, stereo, and my legs. So I figure we'll just cut these pieces out, weld them together. I haven't replaced the cutoff wheel on, on that chop saw since we busted it that one time. So we'll just use old yeller here. One thing about Wisconsin, I always had sleeves. Dang sparks. Hey, these shirts are available with sleeves. Check them out here. So keep an eye on that stuff. It definitely helps out the channel tremendously. Then maybe someday I could buy the lot next door and build a big garage for more hot rods and more mini trucks. Totally kidding, guys. But maybe that's what I'll do if I ever buy a lottery ticket and win. That's the fool's path to riches. But I'd take it.
just a rust-oleum primer nothing special I just wanted to make sure that I had it coated with something on the back side before I weld it all up so we're gonna have to pull these hog rings off of here and get this material out of the way Looks like that's broke and it's been brazed together at some point. Or maybe that's how it was put together in the first place from the factory. I don't know. But either way, I gotta weld that back together. Cause it's broke now. We gotta spin this truck around again. Taking up a little too much space sitting like that. That's why we need our big garage next door. That'll do. I don't know what happened to this thing or when it happened, but, but it's getting glued back together today. We'll just give that a little tickle with the die grinder. So this one here looks like it just lines up with those holes. So we'll do the same thing over here. Like thus. Weld her up like that. Not the best welding attire, guys. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right, I gotta finish this other mount because uh, we got something to do. I'm just gonna kind of put this up against the other one and make a mirror image of it and mark one side A, one side B, and I'll know where to put those tabs. So if you're new to the garage, we just moved down here from Wisconsin to Southwest Florida. So we're still kind of exploring and checking out the new hood. So we're gonna jump in the truck just drive south, see what happens. See where we end up, see what we see. You guys can come with. We love it down here. Definitely gonna love it in the winter time. Can't shovel sunshine. It's been hard on the channel though. I can't get a video out every week like I'd like to. Hope that's cool with you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like button. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for being my friends in the garage. All right, we just gotta put these gussets in there because I forgot to weld them on there when we had this apart on the bench. I mean table. But I'm gonna get them on the best I can without starting another fire. Once we get these factory covers off so the upholstery guy can do his thing, I wanna take the frames back and I wanna weld anything that needs to be welded, paint it all, so I'll have some nice restored seats here. Let them cool down for a second they're hot this front piece here that we welded on is gonna bolt to this one that we put in here a long time ago 
these factory holes, they're gonna be right around in here somewhere. You can build your dream car in your own garage. It just takes time and confidence. I like to think that maybe this channel helps a couple of you with that. I'm just a regular guy out here in my garage, just like you. If my truck doesn't end up as perfect as some professional could do it, so what? It's my truck and I have fun building it. And I'll never portray it as anything different. That Model A, by the way, that one will be for sale. I'm gonna build it on the channel and then I'm gonna sell it so I can do it again. Well, I've been waiting, but they haven't burst up in flames yet. I think they're good to throw in the truck. Here's another life hack for you guys. This is one I practice every day. The first hour or two of your day is the most important. Sets the pace for the rest of the day. Start your day being honest. Get up when you told yourself you would. Start your day with an accomplishment. Make your bed. Start your day with positivity. Don't complain. And start your day being grateful. Just take a second and admire something that's good in life. I enjoy crossing this bridge every day. Even though I'd rather be hanging out with you guys here and I'm going to work, for that moment when I'm crossing that bridge, my head's not at work, my head's not at home, my head's not back in Wisconsin. At that moment in time, that's where I am. That's it. In that moment, I'm just looking at the palm trees, looking at the water, and I appreciate that little thing in life. If you keep that up all day, all week, that's the path to riches. Here we go talking again. Seats are ready to go to the upholstery guy. Let's take a ride with the wife, and when we come back, we'll measure out this truck for material for the rest of the interior. Red alligator? No. I'm thinking leather and suede. All right, guys, let's go for a ride. Who picks a random dirt road in the Everglades to just drive down? I think we might be lost. Some random dirt road through the Everglades? What are we doing? That was fun guys. We didn't even get bit by an alligator. What did the alligator say when it ate a clown? This tastes funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and measure anything in that truck that I might wanna cover with leather, whatever I decide to do. Good vinyl, I don't know. We'll measure for the kick panels, that back wall behind the seats, doors, headliner, center console, A pillars, B pillars, It's gonna rain. Just kidding. It doesn't rain here. It rains over there, but it doesn't rain here. Thank goodness for irrigation systems. I don't know how I'm gonna do the interior yet, but I'll have some sort of contrasting accent material like suede, and I'll just kind of guess how much I need to get for that. We got kick panels, A pillars, doors, headliner, console, B pillars, and the back. Unless I do real leather and I have to buy it by the hide, most material is gonna come in a 54 inch wide roll. I'm gonna take my measurements here and try to place it on that the best I can so I can get an accurate guesstimate of how much material to get. I'm gonna add at least a couple inches to each one of these. So if we add all that up, got 194 inches. Divide that by three because that's a yard. <laughs> no, that's wrong. I would have to get 65 yards. We missed a step. We gotta go back. 27 plus 12 plus 51 
plus 34 plus 70 equals 194 inches divided by 12, because that's a foot, gives us 16.16666666667 feet. Divide that by three, 5.38888889 yards. I'm just gonna go ahead and get six. Maybe it is gonna rain. So now we'll just kind of guess what we might want for like a suede or whatever accent material that we use. And I just realized I put the headliner on this material. I don't want that. I'd want suede up there. I don't want vinyl or leather up there. If I do a material on the pillars instead of paint, I'll probably want them suede too. That's really not gonna give me any more material. I'm just gonna leave it at five and a half yards. It's getting windy out there. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch out maybe what I might want to do for little accent designs with the suede and then I'll measure those. All right, I got it figured out, I think. 24 plus 32 plus 12 plus 14 equals 82 inches divided by 12 equals 6.84 feet divided by three, because three feet in a yard, 2.277778 yards. So I'll get two and a half to three yards of suede. We'll get six yards of vinyl and three yards of suede plus whatever I need to do the seats. And that'll be more than enough. I'll have extra. Hey look, rain. Well that lasted about five minutes and it's dry already. So what do you guys want to do next time? We could finish this bumper. We'd have to come up with more of a permanent mounting solution for these lights, buzz that surface rust off, shoot the whole thing with an epoxy primer. We can make a mount for this fuel log and hook up our fuel lines to the carburetors and the fuel pump. We can finish up this hole in the hood and make it look nice and not just a hole in the hood. We can shave a door handle, side marker lights. We can clearance that fender like we did on the other side or wander way off and do a one piece fiberglass headliner. You guys tell me, what do you want to do? If the parts are available, we'll do it. All right, I'm gonna go edit this video and then I gotta come back out here and see why this generator won't start and probably clean up in here a little bit. Stay classy, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> see you out there.